Oneida County Sheriff Robert Machel is worried about the legalization of marijuana and questions if the county is prepared. Reporter Karina Gary has this story. Oneida County Sheriff Rob Machel does not hide his disdain for the new legalization of marijuana bill. During the latest Board of Legislators meeting, the sheriff spoke passionately to the board about his concerns. Machel does not believe that the county or state is prepared to handle what is coming, mostly because he believes the state legalized the drug before learning from the mistakes made in other states. It's a huge concern for us because we look at statistics in other states that have legalized marijuana, their traffic accidents caused by, uh, you know, when the operators are under the influence of marijuana have exploded. And, and especially when it comes to personal injury and fatal car accidents. So we don't, it's not a question of if, it's when and where, and we need to be prepared for it. And, I've, and we're not, I'm going to be honest with you, we're not prepared for what's coming our way. In addition, Machel is concerned about the lack of officers in his department who are properly trained to identify people and drivers who are under the influence of marijuana. Unlike alcohol, where police can pull a driver over and give them a breathalyzer test, there is currently no detection test for marijuana. Instead, there are officers specifically trained to identify if someone is under the influence of drugs, called drug recognition experts. They basically do a series of both field sobriety tests that you would traditionally see them doing on roadside when, when you're dealing with a DWI. They also do, um, they take uh, um, like blood pressure and temperature, you know, various uh, um, vital signs. They also have some specialized um, other tests that they put the individuals through and then they use their training and their expertise to determine if they're under the influence of, of a drug and from there an arrest is made. Currently there are only two officers in Machel's department who are drug recognition experts. Machel believes his department alone will need eight DREs. Currently, funding for drug recreation officers is only being offered by the state to the New York State Police. And Sheriff Machel is not sure where his department will get the funds to train additional officers. The training to become a DRE takes eight weeks and training is not available in New York State. Machel has sent people all the way to Florida to receive the training in the past. Reporting from Utica, I'm Karina Gary, Eyewitness News. Be sure to get our